I'm John Tatulis from Sound Devices. I have to say the introduction of Dugan is probably, um, for me, a, a huge milestone for you guys to, to have that kind of branding and, and different algorithm. You know, Dugan is, he's the father of automatic mixing. And he came up with this algorithm out of a need from his work. And we see this a lot, and we've had experience with it with Mix Assist. Uh, also, I personally have it, experience with automatic mixing, having been involved with it back in my Sure days for many years, and knowing what benefit it can have for applications with multiple mics. And now we're seeing more and more production with lots of mics, and that's become an important tool and something that we now have the technology that we can give a customer those choices. Dugan, Mix Assist, one algorithm, another algorithm. And it, Tell me, what are the differences? When, when would I choose one over the other? Uh, what applications are suitable for one versus the other? You know, they ultimately are doing the same thing, and that is attenuating mics that are not being used. The Dugan system, if I were a mixer and I was going direct to air, I would probably use Dugan over Mix Assist. If I was doing a reinforcement job where I was doing multi-track ISO and I also needed to feed a PA, I'd probably use Mix Assist. It might give me a little bit more game before feedback. But they're, you're splitting hairs, and, and both of these algorithms are really great performers. So the thing that's interesting about the Dugan algorithm is you're not going to hear a mic being turned on or off. And with Mix Assist, if different microphones are in different acoustical environments, you might hear a microphone turning on and off in that background sound changing character a little bit. The character of the background sound with Dugan is going to be a little bit more consistent. Got it. I mean, that is the challenge of production sound mixing, right? To make it 100 mics or however many mics you have out there sound like one mic. Yeah, no doubt. So it, it's, it's as simple as being able to choose between the two algorithms. You select what microphones are going to have your automatic mixing. All right, I need these inputs to have automatic mixing. And then you select your algorithm, and off it goes. Now, the benefit of both of these systems are the gain of the microphone is actually, and the signal coming into the microphone determines its threshold. So there's no extra thresholds required. You are fundamentally setting a threshold by setting a gain and having good gain structure. Now, that is one thing that we noticed was on the traditional Dugan control panel, you have a weighting option. Um, is there any equivalent to that in this implementation on the 688? You know, there, there's, there's subtleties in, in how they're implemented in all different products. And, and ours was, let's have a tool that's basically, you know, active, not active. You know, something that is... You know, I, I want to be able to use this and, and be successful with it right away. The other benefit of a 688 is you can also record all those individual inputs as pre-fade ISOs. So now you can go back, make your decisions in a post environment where you have all those signals fully present without any automatic mixing being activated on them. Beautiful.